This is my boat, 2015 28 Duckworth Offshore called No Collusion. Just going to go over a few things on the boat. Had about a year. Uh, I think I put like 120 hours on it. Uh, first of all, the trailer. Uh, super good trailer. Long tongue on it. Triple axle. Balance is really good. So I can actually pull it with a half ton pickup. All aluminum frame instead of galvanized. Super awesome trailer. As you can see, the paint looks a little foggy. Um, actually, uh, the boat is at the shop right now. I'm getting a buff and detailed. Uh, when I bought it, the uh, salesman thought he would buff it, and he actually uh, ruined the paint a little bit. But it's all fixable, so you're going to get that fixed. Bottom paint is fine since I take the boat out of the water every time. boat does have twin 200 Yamahas, awesome motors. Do about 45 miles an hour at 6,000 RPM, as long as it's propped right. I actually had to change the props. Uh, the size of the props, we'll see uh, right there. Those, that's the right size, Yamaha props. Most boat dealers don't know what they're doing when they come to propping engines. Uh, Newport Marine, those guys are awesome. They got it perfect. 25 horse Yamaha kicker. It's fuel injected. Had a 9.9 .9 before. Was not happy with that at all because it's carbureted. Uh, you actually have to warm it up. Fuel injected 25 horse. Starts right up and you can use it right away. So good choice on that. Boat's called No Collusion. You can figure that one out. And the that's just uh, nothing. That's just from the plastic guides. It comes right off. Typical thing on Duckworth, a little corrosion around that. Seen it on every Duckworth I've ever saw. Not too worried about that. This is all the negative stuff. Had a ladder there. I accidentally broke it off, which is fine. It was in the way. Don't need it. Paint's coming off there. Typical uh, aluminum boat thing. Um, actually, it's at the shop. Getting the whole top rail repainted. And so it'll look like new again. Some little spots. All that's going to be repainted. Hopefully it turns out great. All this is going to be repainted all the way up to right there. Because the rest of the paint looks awesome. And I know I'm just showing some negative stuff, but love the boat. Just a little stuff, a little bit of paint peel there, a little bit there, that's going to get painted. Also going to show a few things that I use on this video. That can be replaced, it's a little ring. That's the bleeder box. I use it for storage, for uh, pole holders, buoys, ropes, quick, easy access, drains out. Uh, that's one of the um, downrigger weights. That one really sucks. It wobbles and tangles your line. Don't buy one of those. Cooler was uh, 350 bucks, regular 500. Think I got a pretty good deal on that. Super heavy duty, eight days, holds ice very well. And experimenting with gaff hooks that was like a $25 thing at England's actually really good gaff like it that metal one there was a impulse buy needed it because I forgot my gaff at one point the middle one is AFCO fiberglass about 75 bucks it's four foot super strong really high quality kind of wish I would have got like a five or six foot one though spent like a hundred and something Uh, fish box use it mainly for big fish halibut tuna because it fills up water from the deck doesn't stay ice doesn't stay in there I use the cooler for salmon and bottom fish link cod ice them up instead of putting them in there it does have a macerator drains out 
But uh, huge storage for big fish. Little cabinet there. It's just for the wiring and uh, autopilot pump. Uh, again, a Newport Marine Frank. He made this, handmade this for me. Did an awesome job uh, for the Garmin uh, chart plotter for the rear helm. By the way, I do have uh, controls for the kicker and the main, which is a must. Messy boat. Yes, I know. That's a 8616 up there. That's uh, downriggers for salmon, Scotty downriggers. Got a couple of those. Those are the downrigger weights that you want to use. They track straight, no wobbling. Life vest, uh, auto inflatable. Have the ACR uh, rescue link on there. Has a little button there. Uh, I'll send a signal to the Coast Guard for help if I happen to fall in. Hope I never have to use that thing. Uh, just basic radio that came with it. Uh, phone chargers over there. A little box I use for rinsing off lures and fish hooks. Drains out. A uh, bucket full of flashers. Use that for flashers because you just rinse them off, dump the water out. Real simple. Life ring for when I have company, which is rare, which is fine with me. There's storage up there. Usually stuff, clothing and stuff stays nice and dry. Dash, got a ton of GoPro stuff. Kind of messy, but it's there when I need it. There's the hat, waterproof housing, plus Probably a lot more than I need. A little heater works pretty good. Ceramic heater takes the frost off and uh, this takes the uh, moisture out of the air, warms up a little bit. Normal controls, windless. Um, best thing right there is that heated seat button. Both seats, front seats are heated, which use that all the time. That's the uh, switch down there for switching to the rear helm for the mains. Oh, there it is again. I don't know why I showed that twice. Time to move on. Yeti in there, another downrigger. There's the storage, lots of clothes, rain gear, extra life jacket. Fishing poles, got an assortment there, spinning rods and trolling rods. This boat has the rod holder in the floor. It's got water in there. Finally figured out why. There was a place where they missed the weld for their uh, mid bilge pump. The water was getting in there. I actually got it sealed up. So it should be dry from now on. Unfortunately the rods got a little moldy. But that won't happen anymore. Uh, Ziploc baggies, my best friend. Uh, just sort the bottom fishing jigs that way. It's a quick and easy way. Duo snaps, those come in handy. More bottom fishing stuff. Just throw it all in there. Quick, easy access. That's for uh, link cod fishing. I have uh, steel leaders I could make with hooks for live bait. Not live bait, but herring. Uh, 
that is a flasher bag use that a lot salmon gear hooks hoochies uh, brad's bait pretty much use brad's bait most of the time I just pick these up strong knives instead of the bait cutting knives I was using real flimsy these are real strong for plating fish cutting the gills that sort of thing yeah, I'll probably do a little more detailed review on some of those poles someday it's pliers those are cool casking got the line cutter on the outside fine tip lot handier than these things uh, blade on the inside really big not very defined but they still work, work good for uh, taking the hooks out of fish so here's one of my best friends it's the autopilot remote so like if I'm tuna fishing trolling I can steer the boat from the back Literally, it helps me fish four poles at the same time when I'm tuna fishing. So, must have. Like 250 bucks. Seems like a bargain. Experiment with some gloves. Uh, garbage, junk. Garbage, junk. Rip real easy. Just pick these up. Dual layer. Awesome gloves. Can wear them all day. Clean the fish. At the end of the day, take them off. You never know you went fishing. Hands uh, smell clean, no fishy smells. Perfect gloves, awesome. Oh, it has a ton of storage. Here's some more stuff. That would be some downrigger stuff right there. Um, drinks in there, baggies, knives, shotgun shells. Those are for the shotgun for halibut fishing. Lost a pole once because I uh, missed the gaff and the thing yanked the pole out of my hands. So that doesn't happen anymore. Flashers, uh, extra reel in there, more storage. It's more, uh, I don't know, looks like a tackle shop inside the boat. That's for tuna, tuna jigs. And a little backpack keep the life vest in. Helps keep them dry. Always got some extra shoes. Heavy insulated boots work perfect cold weather. Feet never get cold. A little bit of rain gear. Full head in this boat. Um, sure glad I have that for emergencies and when I have company. Got blinds for us uh, if I actually stay at the dock. And that's going to be about it. Thanks for watching. Trying to grow the YouTube channel a little bit. So please subscribe. And um, again, awesome boat. Love it. Glad I got this one. Thank you.